day folks today in this video I'm going to show you how to build the ultimate GoPro Hero 6 vlogging setup now this will work with other GoPros as well whether you're using a session Hero 5 black Hero 4 black or even a smartphone now for the base of our rig we're going to be using the triad by a company called GoPole I really like this unit um, it's very versatile when you get it it comes just like this um, it has two GoPro mounts and they can slide back and forth so you can position them whichever way you need. You also can remove them and have one just in the center hole if you're gonna be just using one camera and you want it centered. On the bottom, there's two quarter inch tripod threads. On the top, there's two more quarter inch tripod threads and three cold shoes. So lots of space and expansion for accessories like microphones and lights and different things like that. Now just on its own, it's very handy. Uh, it can be used as a stabilizer. Got two nice rubber grips on either side. It has a rubber grip on the top, so if you want to get some nice low shots, it helps keep things stable. Some of you may have noticed I've used this in a couple of my videos for doing side-by-side -side comparisons, but it's also good when you have one camera facing one direction, one camera facing another direction. It allows you to grab two different angles. You can film out what's front of you and also film yourself, which is good for vlogging, right? You might want to add some B-roll footage kind of mixed in, and uh, that's a good way to do it. So to get started with our rig, we are going to mount the GoPro Hero frame. We're just gonna put it in one of these adapters here. And it doesn't matter which side you use, um, you know, you might change things around, find out what works best for you. So we have the Hero 6 Black frame mounted and now we're gonna add a light. There's many different types of lights you can choose from. This is the Loom Cube and this is a uh, light from Freewell Gear. They're both good lights. Uh, this one's a little cheaper. Uh, it's a little bigger, a little heavier. Now the nice thing about the Freewell Gear light is that it already has a GoPro mount on the bottom and it has a removable battery. So you can order extra batteries and swap them out on the fly when needed. The Loom Cube is super small. It's very light, super bright, but uh, it only has a quarter inch tripod thread on the bottom, so which isn't a big issue. There's all kinds of little adapters and connectors you can get to uh, make them mount very easily. But for this setup, I'm gonna go with the Freewell Gear Light for now. And uh, you know, you can add several lights, so maybe we'll do that later on in the video. And the nice thing is, while you're setting up these slides so you can move it all the way over, gives you lots of clearance room in here to get a thumb screw in. So, we now have our frame mounted, our light, so we'll put the Hero 6 in now. But before we do, we're gonna remove the side door. And the reason we're gonna be removing the side door is because we're gonna be plugging an external microphone into the unit, and uh, we need these ports exposed. So, we'll just put the camera into the frame. Lock it down, and tighten things up. And at this point, you can adjust things however you need. You want more clearance for the camera, you can do so. So mainly for the most part, I use the Rode Video Micro and uh, it's a really good microphone, very versatile, not too expensive. I use it uh, for vlogging setups like this, but I also use it usually to record my YouTube videos. Obviously in this video, I can't use it and I must apologize, the audio on this might be a little off just because I'm using the built-in microphones on my iPhone 8. So we're just gonna plug the Rode microphone into the top here. We'll tighten it down just like so. This is the cable that comes with the Rode microphone. We're gonna plug it into the back. Now when using an external microphone with your GoPro, you have to have one of these. This is the microphone adapter, USB-C on one end, and at the bottom it gives you the microphone jack and another USB-C port. And that's important because I'm going to show you later on why we need that extra USB-C port there. When we go to plug it in, I'm just going to slide the camera all the way down just to give us some clearance room while we plug in the microphone. Just like so, microphone's plugged in, so we can now move the camera back. And uh, then it's as simple as plugging in the microphone. Just like so. Now we got the microphone plugged in, the GoPro plugged in, and our light plugged in. We could use it just like this. We can hold it on either side, nice firm grip. We can hold it one-handed. It's light enough that it's not gonna cause a problem. Or if we're gonna be doing some low shots, we can hold it from the top. But we'll take it one step further. What I like to do is add this uh, grip to the bottom. Now this is not an ordinary grip. This is a power bank grip. So if you notice here, there's some USB ports. 
Um, what this is going to do is give us a one-handed grip on the bottom, but also give us some extra power to power our GroPro or our lights or whatever else we might need. So we're just going to screw it into the bottom. And just like so, you know, you can hold it one-handed or you can still hold it from the top. That's just going to give us a nice power bank on the bottom. So we're going to plug in the USB-C cable that came with our GoPro right into the port on the power bank. And then this is where I mentioned it's nice to have that extra USB-C port on the microphone. So we can plug it in and uh, it's going to start charging the camera while we're using it. Also, when you get the uh, Rode microphone, you get what's called a dead cat with it. Definitely must have uh, if you're going to be outside because any slight breeze is going to put some awful wind noise into your videos. So just like so, and uh, that'll cut back on your wind noise. Now, at this point, you can see it looks kind of like a mess. You got all these cables over here. Uh, a couple things you can do. I purchased this little six foot cable and uh, it replaces the GoPro cable. So if you don't want this big bulky mess, um, you can, instead of using the default GoPro cable, you can use a nice little short six inch cable and uh, that cuts back on the amount of bulk that you're using. And then what you can do is just tie things up. If I'm gonna be out all day and I don't want all these cables in the way, I just use some black twist ties and you can like mount you can uh, just put them in and get all your cabling nicely put away. So yeah, just like that, beautiful little uh, GoPro vlogging rig um, with some extra power so that allows you to vlog for a long period of time. Well folks, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. I'll include all the links down below here uh, for all the products I used in this video. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.